हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज हेना तलाटी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमारो न्यूज वेदर एक्टिविटी वाज माइल्ड ओवर द मोस्ट पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री ड्यूरिंग द मंथ ऑफ मार्च इट वाज वन ऑफ द ड्राइस्ट मार्च ऑन रिकॉर्ड विथ जस्ट 8.9 पॉइंट नाइन मिलीमीटर्स ऑफ मंथली रेनफॉल फिफ्थ लोएस्ट इन लास्ट वन ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया वॉज ओनली सेविंग ग्रेज वेर द एक्टिविटी पिकडअप ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट वीक ऑफ द मंथ अमाउंटिंग टू सरप्लस वीकली रेनफॉल बिटवीन ट्वेंटी फोर टू थर्टी एथ मार्च नॉर्दर्न हाफ ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन हैज बिन स्मैश्ड बाय द हैवी रेन्स यस्टरडे पॉसिबली सीजन मोस्ट इंटेंस पैल असम अरुणाचल प्रदेश एंड मेघालय हैव बिन स्ट्रक विद द हैवी रेन्स एंड मॉडरेट शाज एल्सवेर मॉडरेट टू हैवी रेन स्पिल्ड ओवर द सिक्किम एंड सब हिमालय एंड वेस्ट बंगाल एज वेल द चीफ अमाउंट ऑफ द रेनफॉल वेर पासी घाट वन फिफ्टी वन मिलीमीटर्स इटानगर वन ट्वेंटी एट मिलीमीटर्स चेरापूंजी वन फिफ्टी टू मिलीमीटर्स नॉर्थ लखीमपुर एटी सिक्स मिलीमीटर्स डिब्रूगढ़ सिक्सटी फोर मिलीमीटर्स एंड मजबात सिक्सटी सेवन मिलीमीटर्स flow over the north bay of Bengal is fanning moist southwesterly winds over the region. There is likelihood of strong weather system forming over the Andaman Sea shortly. This will reinforce the existing features and strengthen the converging wind flow for next one week. The sensitive weather activity is expected to lash the entire region and this could prolong and extend till middle of the April. Mountainous regions of the Arunachal Pradesh and Meghalaya have to watch out for the inclement weather conditions including landslides at few areas. Bay of Bengal has been an active basin this season since the commencement of the pre-monsoon. Bay of Bengal has been scoring over the Arabian Sea and churning a greater number of disturbances in quick succession. Month of March witnessed the tropical cyclone 01B in the first week and followed by the deep depression during the third week. As on expected lines, both the systems spared the Indian coastline. Rising heat potential has turned this basin into a hot spot for cyclones for upcoming months of April and May. A cyclonic circulation is likely to move from the Gulf of Thailand and Myanmar coast over the South Andaman Sea. This feature will gain strength and well knit closed areas of circulation is expected to form over the region between 5th and 6th April. Favorable environmental conditions will boost it further to a well marked low pressure area with two closed isobars in the subsequent 24 hours. Further development of this system will be under scanner as the situation is dichotomous for the time being. Such disturbances have the potential to strengthen further while over the open seas. Even if the disturbance intensifies further, it is marred by the uncertainty about its great track and timelines. Mandatorily, the area is to kept under observation for 48 hours between 6th and 8th April. It is rather early for the storms to develop over Andaman Sea, but the transatlantic conditions have already been witnessed as an outlier of the region. As a precursor, Bay of Bengal has taken a lead to churn two significant weather systems rather earlier than expected. Fingers crossed to observe yet another possible storm by the weekend. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.